I want to go to this. It's here. We're actually not far from it. We could check this out. Look at that. I hope it's good. I hope it's just like four hours or something, three hours of draining. Ah, oh, is it filled and running? Dude, there has to be a way to drain it. Here, hold up. I think we can, there's gonna be a drain right here. Alright, this is the main drain. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it's running water. Imagine, she's just Dry. perfect. Dry, white. You heard me? That like hot chick in the car took a photo of us. She's either taking a photo of Brian's hair or taking a photo of like me or she just, thinks our outfit just thought we were fucking pretty, you know? Please, baby. Oh. Halfway, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it halfway. At least we know that it's not good though. Wow, we did that though. That sucks. It's almost there, Dave. What if it would have been a great pool? Damn, damn. Yeah, it is just rainwater. Heads up real quick, bro. I wanna get the photo of this one. You know? So, I moved to Florida mainly because I fucking hate winter. Mike and Brian and Olivia and all that, they were down here and I just get to ride with them a lot. I just felt like it was like a good move, but got down here, like everything's fucking spaced out. I hate driving fucking 40 minutes to shit. The spots are all really awesome, but it, it just gets old, like anywhere though. But I'm just burnt out. I need to get the fuck out of here. I need like, I lived in this city. I lived in like the mountains and now I lived in like the swampy area. Now I need the desert, you know? Like that's like where I'm at. Yeah, I got to go to Russia twice. Sweden, Denmark, Mexico, fucking Barcelona, Spain. Probably like, honest, I've been trying to get Dom to do like South Africa or something or like Dubai or, you know, we were gonna do Brazil and then COVID happened. We had tickets. Everybody had tickets to go to Brazil. Then the lockdown thing happened. No one got to go. And we just haven't planned a trip outside of the country. We've been just kind of like focusing on like America until this is all over, which will never be, you know. Honestly, I'm like kind of crazy about all that. I Google map and I like research for like a month, dude. Even more, when I go home, like Liv yells at me all the time because I just, I'm sitting there and I'm just Google mapping like for fun. Like I just like, you know, I'm just scrolling for hours. I'll find a spot on Instagram, screenshot it or something too. Go to that area, find a sign in the background, read every 200 comments looking for the fucking spot and I'll find it, I don't know. Shit finds me, you know? This place is cool though. I 
like bulls, man. Just like pumping and stuff, you know? Or just like trying to push around, you know? Just like feel out the park. Definitely like one with like, like a weird bend or like a curb rail, something like that, you know? Um, just straight rails are kind of boring these days. How would you say it, bro? Straight rails, kind of boring these days. It's that, that sea rail's good. That was bad, but whatever. Uh, I, we go to Albuquerque. I'm trying to do the Vegas, Fresno, Arizona, like, you know, Badlands of California, just for poles, because scootering really doesn't have like a, a pole scene. Right here's the, look, look, look. Oh. <laughs> I don't even, it's just more of just like riding. I was like riding rails and stuff for so long and like then I just started getting more into like coping tricks and sliding real far and like doing pockets and it became more like flowing. The fact that you're just like circling and circling and you don't push like an endless like line and like that, like just like sold me because like I'm tired of just like grinding you know one straight handrail landing and you know it's over like that's it like I want I want to flow like that's like what I'm into now Yeah, I got I got that, but I got Mike Hinnacapi too afterwards. Hell yeah, that's sick. This is probably bad, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I did this one with Chema. It was for Bobo TV and Proto. It was for his wheel, and uh, I mean, they mic'd us up. <laughs> it was. Here, look. Hell yeah, dude! I got it. Yeah, we were mic'd up right here. This, like, what? The muffin thing? It was so funny. This muffin, too, I kept asking Chao. I was like, yo, dude, like, don't you think we should get, like, a, a good-looking muffin? Like, you know, like, just not some shitty muffin I pull out of my pocket. And we just, like, couldn't find, like, a good muffin either. But, but, but. <laughs> dude, they rented this hotel room. I don't know how this chick ever showed up. I don't know. I don't know any of that. Like she was just there. And dude, I don't, I don't even how to. What I should even say about this? But that was my first interview. It's such a good one. It's so easy to get on. It slammed me though. I got this thing on me. I got this thing on. I got. So good. That's so good. You did that so well. You did like wow. Ah! Next try, and I don't care anymore. Cause I, I don't want to hold up today. Yeah. Yo guys, be careful over here. There's definitely right. dog shit. It's like all over my shoe now. Yeah, there's like little flies. They're everywhere actually now. By the police? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, dude, that was like, I would say like three or four times. The first one, we were driving from just some skate park to another skate park with a couple of Chama's buddies. Yeah. Matt, do you remember that dude's name? Fucking... Uh, Ulysses? Yeah. yeah. Ulysses, yeah. He had like a quarter of weed on him or something and we were driving. Chama doesn't have like a driver's license, fucking insurance, anything on the vehicle at all. These cops roll up, pull us over. 
they don't ask Chema for anything. They ask my buddy and I, the two Americans in the car, for their wallets. And they take our wallets. They don't even look at our IDs. They count the money in our wallets. They give our wallets back without taking anything. Go around the car, go over to Chema, and then they're speaking in Spanish. And they tell Chema, there's too many people around right here. We're going to have you guys drive up, and we're going to re-pull you guys over. When we pull you out, you got to have uh, the two gringos money in your left pocket or we're gonna beat you and take you to jail. We had to pull up, they took Chama out of the car, we gave him all of our money and yeah, Chama just got out and they, they took our money and let us go. They let us keep the weed, they let us, it was crazy. Chama actually made his friend take all the weed and throw it in a trash can on the drive right after that. It's crazy because these Mexican cops like come up in like a pickup truck with like a machine gun mount, like in the back of it. And you're just getting pulled over by like a, a guy holding a machine gun to you. And, they just come up and once again, like, they don't ask Chema for any paperwork, anything. They just basically, like, ask how much money we have. Yeah. And we give them our money and we're on our way. <laughs> that was a crazy day. I was working at the Divide in, like, Portland. It was just Chase Robertson and I. We were hanging out and smoking, you know, and kind of, like, got over the work shift. I closed up and we, like, started cruising back to his house to hang out. We just spotted, like, this perfect metal dumpster that the roof is, like, kind of flat, but, it's, you know, it's a little angled. And, just like a porta potty, like right after it with like a cool little roof. And I think we were testing the blacksmith decks. I just, I had like a prototype or something and I, I hit a couple front boards off the, the dumpster to the porta potty roof. I like landed on a few and then just like all of a sudden my scooter broke down the middle like a skateboard and like took the, uh, the bars to the tooth, you know, knocked the tooth out and it was a Sunday afternoon, couldn't go to the dentist, had to fucking wait till the next day. I'm 28, fucking can't swallow pills to this day. Like, I've never swallowed like a painkiller or anything, yes. I can't swallow a pill. I just gag, yeah. And so I'm just like, no pain meds, nothing. I don't know, just dying, you know? And then the next day, fucking woke up and got it all fixed. It was like 4000 to 6000 to fix it without dental insurance and $100 to just get all of it out. And it was 100 bucks. Yeah, you know, that was it. <laughs> Like, look, here's a green water. And like, that's possible, but I mean, I'm not trying to drain a full pole. Look, this one would be probably sick. Yeah, look, it was foreclosed, or, or it's just no one lives in it. See, look, it has a chance. This one uh, has like, just like a security guard that uh, sits out front of it. I've been here like a couple times now. You, you found it, right? Yeah. We like found it from like a vlog, right? Yeah, it's like this old head skater. Yeah, I was telling you about that yesterday. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's the blue awning. Yeah, I might not see anybody right now. Oh no, he's there. Yeah, look. Street oh wait, no, he's not. He's not right. there. See, he sits in this chair right here. Maybe Sorry. he's in the back. We'll scope. Yeah, we'll still scope, but what if he sits around back now? <laughs> Oh, they bolted it. They, they chained it back on. They fucked it up. They put it back on. Yeah, and there's water. But it's really good. It's annoying. But yeah, Dave, that's how she goes. It don't always work out. You know, I just wrote it like literally three days ago. I slept right here, fucking drained it. Homies fucking cut the fence. We got a little mission in the other night, but it's the way it goes. That's why, like, I mean, when you have the chance, you have to get it in the moment right there because, like, it's like that. Like, it's just, it's done forever then. But that won't be done forever. That'll get fixed. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. Is but that a fountain? I don't know. But it looks sick. Oh, it's gonna be full of like junk unless people skated it recently. We'll check it out then. It's right next to these. There's a pool right there too. 
but I don't trust this house. There's a pool right there. Holy shit. There's like eight on this block. Wow, there's one there. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? I don't know which one to go to that first. That one looks good. Let's go to the most secluded one first. This one. Let's check this one out first. That is insane, actually. This one's actually really sick already, I can tell. This one's definitely worth it. Oh, wow. No? Why? It would be a bitch. Gross. Yeah, it's gross. It's really fucking good, though. <laughs> yeah, you see all that? That's what I'm saying. It could take a long time for some of these. This one's a no-go. I like the look of this one, though. This one's really sick. This shape here motivates me. God. Look at the deer. Oh my God. That's so you saw the deer? I want one. But which one? <laughs> ah. I want to fucking grab a rattlesnake. They're all so dirty though. This one's insanely good. Like I wanna carve a love seat. I wanna do something, you know? Like I just don't want it to be like pointless. Uh-oh. They're building the house. I think, like on the property of the pool. That's awesome. I don't wanna get you wet. So, I mean, you can find anything in a pool. <laughs> dead cats, dead snakes, turtles, fucking live turtles. You're always finding frogs. <laughs> I found my fucking dog in a pool. <laughs> uh, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, if the pool's filled, you need a pump. That shit takes, even with a pump, multiple, I mean, four hours maybe. Could be all day. I don't know, it just depends on like how deep it is. And I mean, you might need a rake. You're definitely gonna need a shovel. You're gonna need something to like pan the water out at the end even. You know, like the bucket, it's hard to scoop when it gets down low. You have to get the algae off the side of the pool. The broom is like probably the one of the most important things. So, I mean, I don't wanna leak all the areas. Right now, I mean, SoCal is like insane. Like there's so much shit going on down there. I mean, Vegas is sick. I don't want to go too much further. Uh, I honestly don't, it would be hard for me to say the year. I'd have to go back on Instagram or something. Cause I mean, Andrew Broussard took me to my first like actual swimming pool. I think it was Pala, that, that one's gone. He got me into it at that point and I, I loved it, but like finding something or just like finding a fucking pool is hard. Definitely learned like, just, I mean everything, honestly. I went from like not having a pump I mean, I just would show up at a pool with like fucking three buckets and like we would just go for it, you know? Like, I would say the biggest thing that I learned though is like each area where there's pools, there's like crews who run those pools. There's a lot of beef and a lot of shit that goes on, but there's good guys out there, you know? So you get lucky sometimes with meeting people, but I don't know, it's rare. Push me every time, do you, do you feel that? Yeah, 100%. I mean, as the water, I mean, dude, the water was like, right here somewhere and it's like fucking going down going down and you're like waiting you know and you get to the end and you're like oh is it is it good you know and <laughs> you finally see the transition and yeah i mean you're fucking stoked like, i don't know there's just something about it that like it just drives you to like fucking want to do it it's strange you just got to do one or 
a couple and then you're like hooked. That's all it takes, you know? And then you're just trying to do it all the time. Yeah, you, you hear the frogs? <laughs> Yeah, this is the, this is a blue one. It's pretty sick. Probably has a shit ton of water. Oh yeah, she's filled. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. Pool's great, but she's filled. A lot of work. Got a bunch of leaves in her already. <laughs> Try to carve the ladder after this one, okay?